First up tonight, students and staff at West Ottawa High School are mourning the death of a 16-year-old girl. She was hit and killed while walking to her bus stop this morning. News 8's Barton Dieters spoke with police about what happened. He has this story tonight from Holland Township. Brian and Sue, it happened on the other side of the street, the one without sidewalks, in the dark with a driver who says she just didn't see the victim in the dark. Ottawa County Sheriff's Department investigators were at the scene of the crash on James Street near Butternut, not long after the 7.12 a.m. crash occurred just a couple blocks from the bus stop. Police say the teen was walking against traffic, as she should have been, and there was no snow. The road was clear. Did the vehicle veer off to the right just a little bit and, and hit the pedestrian, or did the pedestrian step into the roadway or attempt to cross the roadway? The teen, who police have not identified, was taken to Holland Hospital, where she died. Police say the 50-year-old driver is cooperating with investigators and has not been charged. Meanwhile, West Ottawa High School Principal James Renacki expressed the school community's heartbreak over the loss of the student in a statement that went on to say, We have support services and resources on campus to help our students and staff, and members of our crisis response team are available today and in the coming days to meet one-on-one -on -one in groups with those in need of support. Police are asking for anyone with information to call and are asking drivers and pedestrians to remember to be extra careful, especially with the late darkness. Always keep your speed um, at a safe speed, a speed where you can manage your vehicle um, if something were to happen. And for those walking? As a pedestrian, you may be able to see an oncoming vehicle, but that vehicle may not be able to see you. So whatever steps you can take to illuminate yourself would uh, better your safety. Police say it's even a good idea to give your kids a light if they're going to be walking to school in the dark. Now this case goes on to the prosecutors who will decide if any charges are warranted in this case. In Holland Township, Barton Dieters, News 8.